Mr. Tri Sorry? What? Sorry? What is the first priority in the maintenance of the kitchen? Uh, well, it must remain spotless at all times. Uh, dirt and untidiness are the enemies of the good chef. Well-run kitchen should be ordered, hygienic, a place for everything and everything in its place. Remember the three C's. Clean, clinical, and... Cobblers. Clutterless. Look, you can't tart about when you're doing 60 meals a day. I've hardly got time to trick my nose as it is. Yes, I know, but I mean, you know, I, I didn't expect uh, all this, you know. I mean, it looked like a, it looked like a nice restaurant. Look, have you, have you ever tried cooking on a trawler up to your ghoulies in fish heads? Uh, no, I haven't. No, well, I have. And compared to that, this is straight out of ideal home, I'll tell you. You are written, you've lumbered me here, mate. Uh, mouse trap and Bickies for table nine. No, Larry, Larry, no, 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 no. Selection de fromage de France avec biscuit. Yeah, and if we're in the vicarage. Oh, oh yeah, and uh, one ice cream. Coming up. Yeah. One vanilla. Oh, no, sorry, can you make that chocolate? I'll do my best. Abracadabra. It's not worked. Here, cover it in curry powder. They won't know the difference. I'd just have to go for a jimmy. Cup hold of that. Hey, and when I come back, remind me to tell you all about the daffodil. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> daffodil? Oh, there are a stingy lot of customers in there. The only tip I've seen all day is this kitchen. Right. Do you know, he's got some disgusting habits. Mm. Do you know what he used to poke holes in those donuts? No, what? A milk bottle. And he didn't even wash it. Oh, yeah. I mean, how can anyone create a classical cuisine in a kitchen like this? Yeah. I mean, you've seen the state of his washing up water. Yeah. You know, if I wanted to start a new religious cult, I could walk on that. Eh? I thought it was super today. Probably will be tomorrow. Yeah, she was, uh, she, she, were, she, was uh, she was having a bottom scraped in Grimsby, you know. Who was? The daffodil. The boat I'm telling you about, she was in dry dock, you know, the daffodil. And I was, uh, I met these two, uh, I met these two nurses, you know. And, uh, well, they looked as if they fancied a bit of the rough, so uh, I said to them... Are oh, you going to wash your hands first? What would I want to say that for? <laughs> no, I said, I said to them, look, girls, would you like a little uh, walk round the ship, like, you know, have a bit, bit of a look round? And, of course, with nurses, you know, you've got to be a bit subtle, you know what I mean? You, I mean, you can't just dash straight in, you've got to lead up to it. So I got them in the, uh, I got them in the cabin eventually, and uh, I said, now, do you fancy a game of strip poker? Uh, I actually usually put a, a dash of garlic salt in my batter. Hey, you're not a puff, are you? No. Thank the Lord for that. Eventually, you know, we were, we were playing this strip poker, you know, and I got down to me wellies, like, you know, and, and they were starkers. Garlic salt? Yes, yeah, it sort of brings out the flavor. Uh, go, go on about the, uh, the strip poker. Oh, yeah. Well, like, uh, <laughs> you know, I mean, hammocks, like, they're only really built for one.